Hello YouTube, welcome to Ambrose Landscaping YouTube channel. Today we are discussing the difference between the HRX217 and the HRC216. This is more, this is a commercial mower, this is the residential. We're going to talk about the pros and cons uh, about each mower and what we like and whether or not which one you should buy. So stay tuned. So thank you for watching our video today. It is about 43 degrees here and the wind's blowing and it's very cold so we're going to do this video as fast as we can. So today we're going to talk about the pros and cons for each mower, which one we like better, which one is better than the other. So first we're going to start with the pros. Now this is the HRX217 and this is the HRC216. The difference is this is commercial, this is residential, but I have seen a lot of people use this for commercials. This is a great mower for starting out your business if you don't have the money to get upgrade to this one. So first we're going to talk about the pros for this one. Now this thing has a very strong engine. This engine's actually a lot stronger compared to the commercial one, which I, I don't get why they didn't do that. But this thing is a, a beast at mulching. It can mulch very tall wet grass and does very well in the dry grass compared to the commercial. Now this one doesn't really mulch that well, surprisingly. Another negative is that you have to have a separate plug in order to put into the mower to mulch, while this one you just kind of shift it over to bagging and system bagging and mulching, so it makes it a lot easier. So another thing that we're going to talk about is the cutting quality. Now both mowers are great on the engines, I love them both, they both have the dual blade underneath, but the only difference is that this one cuts a lot better when bagging than this one, and the reason why is this one has more of a bubble deck where it kind of, I call it the bubble deck, where it kind of sucks up the grass clippings a little bit better and it has better airflow underneath, while this one has a smaller um, clearance underneath. So it doesn't really do that well. But this one does mulch better than the HRC 216. All right, so now we're gonna talk about price. Depending on where you're at in your landscaping company, if you're first starting out, of course you wanna start out with a good mower. This is a great mower. It will do great for you starting out uh, compared to this. This one usually runs about $6.99. Uh, there is another one for about $8.50, but that one comes with the electric start, which you don't need because these things start off, usually on the first pull. They're very great mowers. This one runs you about $1,200. Now, of course, you pay for what you get. You know, the, This one does come with a lot more pros than this one. It comes with better guards around the deck to protect it for a lot longer. It comes with a better mower where you have a bigger fuel tank. You also have a better air filter system. <clears throat> and it's just built stronger overall compared to this one. Now, the one thing I love about this mower compared to this one is the weight difference. Now, usually the weight difference is a huge thing because the weight, usually of the wheels, will make an indentation in the lawn and it will fall over the grass a little bit more. But one thing I don't like about this mower is that once this bag starts to get full, the front end is so light uh, because of the deck, it's not metal, that over time it starts to kind of like, the weight starts to shift towards the back. So while you're mowing, your front end's kind of going all over the place and you're kind of popping wheelies to where you're actually not getting a really good cut quality mowing the whole time. Compared to this one, you have so much weight in the front where it keeps the front, even if the bag is full, that it's always giving you that good quality cut. So another thing I do love about this mower compared to this one is the height adjustment. Now the heights are both the same, the only difference is that this one actually shows on the mower the height. As you can see right here, it has one to four inches on the deck, where this one doesn't have the, the numbering uh, so you know which one. There's been many times we've gone to a job and we adjust the height on this mower and we were off by one notch because it doesn't show the numbers where compared to this one, it does. So another huge difference in these mowers is the deck. This one is metal, this one's Cavalog. And so that makes this one a lot lighter. The great thing about this mower is that this deck will last you a lifetime. Honda has a lifetime warranty on this deck. Well, that one, I believe it has a limited lifetime or maybe not even a uh, warranty at all. The only difference between these is the weight. Now, if you're going up hills and you're doing a lot of jobs, this is a perfect mower for you. Where this one, since it has the weight behind it, it makes it a little bit harder. <clears throat> if you scrape this one up and do whatever you want to it, you can take a knife and just scrape it all up. It will never rust on you while this one will. 
The other thing about the Hondas is the way you adjust the handlebars. Now, the commercial is a fixed handle. You can't actually adjust it at all, so that's kind of what stinks about it. While the residential one, as you see, you pull two tabs on the side, and you can adjust the height of it, which is amazing. And then another thing is that it also pulls down for great storage. That's one thing I do love about this motor compared to the Honda. So if you're getting really tight in your, uh, your trailer and you need to move some space, it's nice that you just pull it out and throw the bag on top of it, and now you save a lot more space compared to this one. Especially with the bar, if you're putting underneath the shelf or just underneath something, uh, this has better storage compared to the commercial. So another thing that's great about that is that depending on, if you have different guys with different heights in your business, uh, this mower would be very ideal because it, it has three different height adjustments for short and for tall, while this one only has one. Now it does have a good height, I, I am 6'1", and so this actually feels very comfortable to me. I'm not really bending over, and I believe this is the perfect height, but then again, you have the luxury of being able to uh, adjust the height to how tall you are. And another thing about that is that there's been, when you're going, going under low trees or anything low where you have to kind of bend down and get underneath it, you're able to adjust this from the highest height right here with just two tabs. And now you're at the lowest height. And you can kind of see, it's, this is actually about the same height or actually a little bit lower. So it makes it easier for going uh, under things or even going uphill. If you're going up a very steep hill, you don't want the, the handlebar way up here where you're trying to push it. But down here, you have that kind of that push where it makes it a little bit easier on your arms. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something about these two mowers. They are great mowers. I am a huge Honda fan and anything with a Honda engine on it. So if I were to choose which mower to go out with, again, it also depends on where you are at in your business. If you're a little few uh, further on in your business, a couple years, I would definitely go with the Honda just because it has the great cut quality. And then again, we don't mulch too much. We actually do a lot of uh, bagging uh, in our company. So I would actually highly recommend this. If you're starting out your business, save the few extra hundred dollars, go for this. That extra hundred dollars can go towards either more equipment or things that you need or just cash in your pocket. But overall, I, I highly recommend the commercial. Honda did a great job on it. Uh, great job on cut quality. Mostly the reason why I recommend this one is cut quality and durability. Uh, feels strong on your hands, and it's just a well put together mower. So thank you much for thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more. If you guys have any videos that you guys would like us to do, any reviews on any of the equipment that we have, please let us know. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned.